In this video, you're going to learn how you can create your own version of Google by self-hosting an AI native search engine. My name is Zen, I'm a software engineer, and I'm gonna teach you how you can do this today. Let's get started. This is the Perplexica GitHub repository, and all you need to do to get started is clone this repository, which I've done already. It's over here, and the description contains all the links you need. And then what you can do is in Visual Studio Code, you can open a repository and you can see that there's a sample config for you already. I'm just going to copy the entire config and then I'm going to create a new config.toml file, paste everything in there. And all I'm going to do is just configure the Olama API endpoint, which allows me to use a free locally hosted AI model, but you can also use OpenAI or any of the other providers that you see in here, if you please. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then the first thing that I still need to do is I need to start that AI model locally. So in my Western terminal, I'm going to go ahead and look up Olama list. And then you'll see here that I have a Llama 3.2 model available. However, I'm actually not going to use that one because it's a pretty small model. And I found that you need a decently sized model for it to properly return the sources and give you correct information. So I'm going to actually start with the 5.4 model here. So I'm going to do Olama run 5.4. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply run docker compose up dash D to start all the services that we need. And this project has a couple of services. It's got a backend, a front end. It's got a instance of Seer X and G, which is a really nice meta search model where this search engine basically queries multiple search engines and combines all of the search information. So for example, it might query Bing, DuckDuckGo, Google, all at the same time, and then it gives you the best results from each of them. There are some default settings there, but you can actually configure whatever you want as well, which we'll show later. But first, let's have a look at the front end. I'm going to go and show you that the containers are actually running. And you can see that the front end is currently running on port 3000, and I can go into it just like that. So I've put this window in full focus, and now we're going to search for something interesting. So we're going to search for what did NVIDIA announce at CES this year, which shows you that it can answer very relevant new questions because NVIDIA was at CES just last week. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that query, and you will see that it will take a long time. Again, you have to figure out what the best configuration is for yourself. But the main point is, is that it uses Seer X and G to find actual web sources, and then all the information is passed onto your large language model, which will then describe the full answer for you. So it's going to start generating the key announcements at CES 2025. And the really nice part about this is that every factual statement that it makes will usually be supported with an actual source. And you can see that as it generates the answer, certain statements are supported by a number and you will be able to click through on that number to see the source where that information is coming from. So let's let it go ahead and give us all of the information and then let's go and view one of those sources to indeed validate that it's not just making up these facts. All right, here's the conclusion. And there we go. So we will find out an interesting statement here. Let's see what's, what is a good one. So this is an interesting one. Here it specifically mentions a new GPU series with a specific amount of VRAM. So that's really a fact that we can check for. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that 32 gigabytes and click on this number 15. And you'll see that we actually get sent over to the NVIDIA website. And if I search for that 32 gigabytes, you can see that indeed it is supported here in the source. So you can actually validate the facts, but you do get a really nice overview because it's an AI generated answer. Let's quickly compare this to what you would get if you search this on Google. So on Google homepage, let's go ahead and search for the exact same query. And you can see that you get different kinds of search results than what you would get from this AI native search experience. Now, to be fair, you do see here that that RTX 50 is noted here as well. Uh, but if you want to get all the insights, you will have to go through many of these different sources. Whereas in our new AI powered search engine, you actually get all of those sources immediately in the answer that the AI model generates for you. So for me, it took a little bit longer for the answer to generate. However, I'm saving a lot of time by not having to read all of those individual sources. Before you click off this video to try this for yourself, I really need you to be aware of a couple of important things so you can customize this experience in the way that makes the most sense for you. First of all, the prompts that determine how the answers generated are in the source prompts folder. So you can customize the way 
that the model responds and gives recommendations for further queries. Next, you got to realize that this is not just for web search. You can also search images. So in this case, there's an image search agent that's configured to search through Bing images and Google images. So as an example, we have a similar NVIDIA CES query here, and I'm going to just click search images and you will see that in just a couple of seconds, uh, some nice relevant images will pop up. So indeed, we, for example, have an image here about the RTX 5090. Now, next, what I want to show you is that you can configure the search engines that are actually being used by Seer X and G. So if we check out our Docker desktop configuration again, you can see that Seer X and G is hosted on this port. So if you go to localhost 4000, you can actually use Seer X and G without any AI features. So for example, if I search up NVIDIA CES 2025, you can see that actually we get autocomplete based on Google. But then of course, I can also just get traditional web results by clicking on the search button like so. And then here we go. We've got the results right there. And if you go here to the right, to the settings wheel, you can actually configure the search engines that you use. So, so if you want a privacy first search experience, you're going to want to, for example, only have DuckDuckGo enabled. And this way you can really customize this to your liking, save time and get AI answers based on any search query that you have.